Oto Waterfalls at Amajope is actually taller than the Waterfalls at Amajope. Oto Waterfalls in Amajope is actually taller than the Waterfalls in Vukwe. You should take all that I'm about to see with a pinch of salt because everything I'm seeing here is not scientific. But then, Let's talk about Vili Water Forfeit. Vili is majestic. It is beautiful. It is amazing. One of the things I actually want to do at Vili Water please don't try this at home. Don't even think about it. But one of the things I want to do at Vili Water Falls is actually hike to the upper fall, take a parachute, and jump from the upper fall all the way and glide gently to the lower fall. So that is if I don't even enter another tree or if the tree, the, the sticking size bats don't jump and then come and suck my blood and then catch me in the air. That's what I really want to do. It's the perfect example of a waterfall, period. But then, let's talk about Ote Falls. There are three main reasons why I feel like Ote Falls is actually taller than Vili Water Falls. Franklin, are you saying you are smarter than the Ghana Tourism Authority? Are you saying you are smarter than those who have measured it and who have seen this for years and years? These are facts. We know all this. This wow. Well, the point is, I don't like to accept everything like that. I don't like the norm. I don't like this is where everything is supposed to be. I like to find alternate routes around them. But my facts are valid, so just, just listen, just listen to me, okay? First of all, are you aware Blue Water Falls has two layers? Of course, that one everybody knows. But what you might not know is that Ote Falls has at least four layers. I said at least four because there's so much more if you count all the rest. If you're actually walking to Ote Falls, where you cross even the first stream, the first fall actually comes from there. There's the first fall from there, but you not actually see. The next time you go there, ask the tour guide to take you there. There's a first fall over there. If you get to the walkway, there's another one over there that falls. Then just in the valley, there's the third one. Now, the fourth one that I'm referring to, well, you cannot actually see it with your eye because maybe that's why it wasn't even discovered. That's why no one even knows. I took my drone there, flew all the way back into the valley, and what did I see? This waterfall extends all the way back. I thought I saw... Everything on the screen, of course, this is just five inches. So I go back to the studio, editing the footage, I realized there's even so much more. So I went another time and flew all the way back. But look, it was scary that the valley is so huge. It's just a rainforest with virtually no GPS reception. So, you know, I don't want to risk it too much. I came back. The reason I'm seeing at least four layers, you can see three, which are actually evident. You can see the fourth one is what I'm showing in the footage now. There's likely to be another one way below, but that one, I didn't get a lot of footage of it, so I can't really confirm. But I said at least four. The other two, if you follow that same trend, the next town from the fall is actually a town called Bajeme. There's another fall over there. Hmm? So, number five. That same water goes all the way to Afatime Biakpa. Is it Biakpa? Yes, Afatime Biakpa. You call the Kulugu Canyon. So you add all those falls, come on, how many are we getting? That is six, six, six layers, six layers. Fine. Look, the geographers to come and tell me, frankly, that's basically like a, a long way down, or that's another line of... Fine, fine. If we want to add all those two other ones in the towns along that same stretch, we have at least four falls. So that is reason number one. Reason number two is how far it took my drone to climb up the waterfall. Well, not climb, actually. Okay, climb and descend. So this is what happened. I went to Blue Water Falls and then I actually flew the drone to the upper fall and descended all the way to the lower fall. Majestic footage. I said it a number of times. I'll be going there again to get extensive footage of that place again. It was cool. It was cool. It was cool. If you're wondering, I use a Phantom 4 Pro V2 Plus. I mentioned that for a reason for the tech junkies who will come and make noise in the comments. Now, when you came to Ote Falls, initially I even thought it was just two falls or two layers. Okay? So I tried to take the drone down the valley and descend all the way up to see if I can grab the whole fall to the top. I didn't even know by then that it was having four layers. Sure, there's no way I'll reach my drone going to the fourth layer down there and fly up. Like, initially when I thought it was just two layers, I went down and climbed up. So, the reason I mentioned the drone earlier, it takes the drone faster to climb up than to descend. Okay, so technically when I was climbing up that waterfall, the Ote Falls, the drone have risen up faster than descending from the layer from uh, uh, the layer of uh, waterfalls all the way down. Ah, it's confusing. <sighs> so let me take it, let me let me try again. Let me try this again. I descended the waterfalls and then I ascended Ote Falls. Good. Maybe that makes a little more sense. It took longer for the drone to ascend 
two layers of Ote Falls than it took for the drone to descend two layers of Vili Waterfalls. Does that make sense? Maybe, maybe it does. Meanwhile, Ote Falls, like I said, has at least four layers. So if we add all those layers in addition to it, Charlie, Vili Waterfalls might just pale in comparison. My final reason is this. My final reason is this. You see, the Ote Falls we know today is not the Ote Falls that has been there previously. You should go there some years ago. Let me, this video linked up here. Back then, it was almost a death sentence to go to the Ote Falls. You had to basically hold ropes and risk your life and do a lot of crazy acrobatics to even get to the first layer of the Ote Falls. It was dangerous. It was, up to now, it's still nerve-wracking for some people to even go down there. So imagine a time when there were no staircases and it's in a rainy season and you have to hold ropes and it's slippery. It's just a crazy thing. Okay? Now, if you try to, you can actually walk around. If you ask the tall guys, they can take you through another way where you can actually go to see the third layer of the Ote Falls. Even walking through that distance, it's not going to be an easy thing. So imagine descending first to the first fall and then walking all the way around the valley again to look at the third fall. So imagine technicians or engineers or whoever it is that was measuring the waterfalls, checking their height. I'm not going to risk my life doing all that rounds to measure and see if Ote Falls with two or three layers, which is even unknown and not popular and it's not a place you can even have a lot of fun. I will not risk my life to measure that, but come on. The waterfalls, it's quite obvious. The place is large, it's beautiful, it's glamorous and everything. So those measuring, if I were to be measuring, I'm not sure I'll take that risk to take the measurement. I mean, tell you, I had a penny, maybe, maybe, maybe some, 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 some. A, a, a million dollars or something. Maybe I'll do that. Trust me, I've done crazier things than that for less. But yes, those are my reasons. Third reason is dangerous, it's crazy, it's risky to even walk there. Look, I went down three layers, just three, with my feet, and it wasn't easy. It was crazy. I tried to shoot uh, some footage. I tried to get some amazing videos of some couple, and then it ended in disaster. Recovering that room was crazy, and then what I discovered down there in that valley is a story I'll tell for another day, you know, where I tried to, I almost lost my life and my partner, so for rescuing a drone. It's crazy. So those are my reasons. My experience, what I've observed is what I'm seeing. Again, take this with a pinch of salt. Don't go tell anyone somewhere that Franklin is saying, what if us is taller? I'm just saying, with what I've observed, I'm not sure I'm an expert to say that or come out with that conclusion, but if you ask me, I'll answer that. Highest waterfall in Ghana or in West Africa. I'll tell you, Ote Falls, don't go write that in exams. I beg you, you fail. You fail big time. But hey, whilst you wait for it, let's go check out some amazing shots from the two waterfalls. Let's, let's go and suggest some beautiful place from the two waterfalls. It's still Volta region. Come to Volta region. There's so much more in the Volta region you can see that anywhere else in Ghana. And then I tell you, let's go observe these two waterfalls. On that note, it's Krello Franklin again, double V for Visit Volta. And I tell you, Tourism GH here for you, everything tourism related, we give it to you on a silver platter. I'll see you when I see you. Sema! Sema!